Earlier in the show, we heard from Princess Anne Town Commission President Garland Hayward about how the Main Street, Somerset Avenue, has changed over the years. And some businesses on Somerset are embracing that change. Businesses like Somerset Choice Station. It's in an old gas station, but that doesn't mean out with the old in with the new. WBOC's Heidi Horosta stopped in to see what makes the shop so unique. Somerset Choice Station has been around for 12 years. It's just moved to a few different locations, but for the past five years, its home has been in this old gas station. A member of the Historical Society bought it and restored it, let us move in uh, where we've been, as I said, for four or five years. And then she moved back to California and she donated it to us. That means it's here to stay. Sharon Upton is just one of the volunteers that run this antique and consignment shop. The antique store was started by a volunteer. And of course, we didn't have the funds at that time to pay anybody. so. Um, they encourage volunteers to join and it's grown. So we started out with two or three volunteers and now we're up to 12. With all of the volunteers, they're able to stay open six days a week. And all of the sales money goes towards any program that supports the history of Somerset County. The proceeds go to the Somerset County Historical Society, um, supports Tickle Mansion, uh, the maintenance of that, and uh, an educa educational program that we have. Upton says the unique thing about this store is the selection of smaller items. A lot of nautical, um, local books. We have local books. We have um, one of our volunteers restores our linens and packages them. We sell a lot of linens, small furniture, just gifts. Upton says Somerset Choice Station has almost anything you could think of, including sweetheart jewelry, which is jewelry that was made overseas during World War II. Upton says some of the most popular items aren't from that long ago. Vintage items, like they don't think of vintage items, something from the 50s or 60s, mm -hmm. as being desirable. Somebody might have a 1960s bread box and throw it out when they don't want it, but we can sell it. And as you can imagine, some of these antiques are a bit more unique than others. Probably the strangest item was a mortician's cooling bed. Um, it was an oak folding bed that was caned and it finally sold to a gentleman who had big Halloween parties and he told us he was going to use it for a buffet table for his party. So <laughs> very unique repurposing. Upton says they are always looking for the unusual and the different. People call us and they're downsizing or they've inherited different items and they're trying to find new homes for them. And so they bring them in and we take things that we think we can sell. Um, when the items sell, they get 60% of the sale price. The Historical Society gets the other 40. And with more than 250 consigners, this store has items coming in every single day. So new things are on the floor every day. And as a result, people come back to see what's new. Making it a different store every day with items that aren't just antique and vintage. They're individual pieces that hold their own story. Now, while everything in the store is for sale, there is one exception. There is a working 1940s traffic light hanging from the ceiling that was on Prince William and Somerset Avenue. That's a no-go. 